Coach Haggett and taking the handoffs here at practice today. <laughs> he's coming after your gun or what? He probably is. I don't know. <laughs> what, what has just been your sort of your impression kind of the, this first week of, of um, you know, kind of his style and how he's led things? Yeah, um, a whole lot of positivity, a whole lot of energy. Um, we really like that as a team. I feel like it's lifting us up, and uh, I couldn't ask anybody else as a coach. Javante, going into to year two, are you feeling more comfortable and especially maybe stepping into that, you know, lone starter role? Yeah, um, I'm definitely getting more confident um, and everything's starting to slow down. It's starting to feel like regular football again and not just like the NFL. Um, yeah, everything's starting to slow down. Do you change anything about, because you're so physical in, your, in the way you run, mm -hmm. change anything with your body type after going through a full NFL season, whether you add weight or lean out, anything different? No, nah, I've been doing the same thing. Um, I'm still the same weight as I was last year. Um, I'm feeling good, so I'm going to just stay right here where I'm at. Is it, is it in this offense, is it a run play, like a run play last year, or is there a lot of different things for you to learn? Nah, um, I feel like the running back position is kind of easy because, like, you're either going to run outside zone or inside zone, gap, anything like that. So for us, learning the playbook pretty much been pretty easy. Mm -hmm. You said Coach E? Yeah, Everell. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, that's definitely our goal. Um, me, Coach Wheatley, everybody in the running back room, uh, we're just trying to be the best room in the league, do whatever we can to win the Super Bowl. What's it like being around Russell Wilson, someone you probably grew up watching? Yeah, it's crazy. Um, well, I think he got his own doctor that followed him around everywhere he go. That's like, it's crazy. Um, and then just seeing like, the people he be with and everything, like, I don't know, that just crazy. I never expected that. Javante, uh, Melvin's not here, at least not yet. I mean, are you ready to be number one, 20, 25 carries, see what you can do this year? Yeah, I've been talking to Mill um, lately, um, just seeing how he was, seeing what he's been doing. But, I mean, whatever George got planned, I'm ready to go. If I got to split carries, if I'm, I'm a starter, like, it don't matter whatever it is, I'm trying to win the Super Bowl. Are you ready for the pressure that comes with the success you had as a rookie? Because uh, a lot of people will be drafting you high in fantasy football and, and giving you a hard time about all that. Yeah, I don't really pay too much attention to all that. I'm just trying to uh, be better than I was last year for myself. Like, I'm just competing with myself right now. Uh, George Payton said last week you developed one of the best, best pass-protecting running backs in the league. How much pride did you take in that improvement last year? Yeah, I just always want to be the best. So pass protecting, catching, running, anything. Um, I just want to be the best at everything. Javante Alberto, another guy that there's big expectations for this year. What are you seeing out of him? to say that he can meet those expectations? Yeah, Albert, I've been looking good. Um, I feel like this year he got like a, a sense of more confidence. Like he talking more in the locker room. Um, he talking more in the field, just communicating. It just seemed like he more comfortable. What would you yeah. tell guys what, what would you tell guys who are going through this process now that are going to get drafted on Thursday or Friday? And your Broncos don't pick to the second, but what would you tell guys that after having gone through that process? Yeah, just don't listen to what nobody say because you don't know what they're talking about. <laughs> Some people told me I was going fourth round. Some people said first. So whenever you get picked, just be glad that you got picked and it's a blessing.